So many crazy things have transpired since March of this year when the first uh, positive case was announced and the domino effect that spread like waves hitting every single Fijian community in its path. Um, the closure of borders, job loss of about 40,000 hotel workers, you can check on that statistic for accuracy, but hundreds of thousands of staff from other work areas with reduced hours, reduced income. Um, it's just, it's a huge chunk of Fijian breadwinners suddenly affected, including me. My brother was also um, a chef at a five-star resort. He's currently jobless and he has um, five kids. My sister, uh, her work roster is now reduced to just a few hours in the aviation industry and she's a young mom. My friends and their loved ones, just so many families, so many children. Um, in May, Dialogue Fiji announced that uh, more than 150,000 workers were already impacted across the country and, and that was just within two months of the, the outbreak and you put that 150,000 workers against our national population of about 900,000 people that's some major blow to our economy and it's scary it scares me uh, and I don't think our people uh, realize just how much this will be affecting us for a long time. I have a very strong network of people whom I trust and love, uh, my closest and dearest friends, and uh, they know who they are, who remain constant uh, amidst the chaos. Um, when my world becomes dark and everything's a mess, I can, I can be 100% certain that one of them is holding a lamp in the corner somewhere to reassure their presence, uh, their support. Um, it is my hard hope that um, everyone has a solid uh, support structure, especially so in times like these when, when desperation is rife. I mean, can you imagine people that were depressed previously because of family hardships, how cramped their minds might be in, in, in times of a pandemic. Now, there's crime, there's greed, there's violence, there's um, total disregard for the simple things like caring and, and kindness. I read recently that um, there's an absence of humanity in times of crisis. It's like when we panic, our default emotions are negative. It becomes easier for us to criticize and judge and hate because we are engaging from, from a place of disadvantage and and disprivilege because suddenly um, something that we've been so used to is no longer afforded to us and, and, and we are snarky and we are moody and, and we become um, emotionally erratic and this is true for me and so imagine 150,000 Fijians feeling this way in their homes, um, exasperated, discouraged, and angered. I mean, I, I, I sincerely hope that everyone has someone they can talk to, to remind them about the simple things um, like kindness. I'd like to encourage people that might be feeling um, some kind of depression or you know you're feeling just down on your luck or in dire straits to talk to somebody um, establish a trusted uh, person human being that you can um, confide in uh, I firmly believe that uh, emotions concealed become dangerously contagious internally and so and I speak from experience and so these may be hard times but lucky for us uh, Pacific Islanders Fijians especially we're communal we've always been communal our races have always lived harmoniously so if we can just all take this opportunity to to reset to rewire how we think um, 
about how we engage with with anyone on the street, for example, because a uh, majority of our people are suffering. And so I think if we learn to really genuinely care for each other, uh, the hardships will become uh, more bearable. This is my hope. Uh, after all, um, you know, they say a burden shared is a burden halved, right? And if we practice this daily, I would be the most keen person to see what uh, post-COVID Fiji looks like.